All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Air Jordan 4, but more specifically, I want to talk about a dichotomy that existed in Nike basketball in the late 80s and early 90s. It was the force flight dichotomy. And when you look at the tongues of the Air Alpha Force 2 and the Air Flight 89, you can see these iconic logos. But before we get to these shoes, come on over here and let's have a look at the fours. So you'll notice on these black and cement fours, it says flight underneath the Jumpman. The Air Jordan 3 was the first pair of Jordans with the Jumpman. The Air Jordan 4 was the first pair of Jordans to say flight. You'll also notice that the box back there says flight too. Flight is very significant to the history of Nike basketball because of that dichotomy between flight and force athletes. Typically, the flight athletes were the graceful guards and small forwards like Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, whereas the force athletes were the bigger, stronger, powerful forwards and also centers like Charles Barkley and David Robinson. There was also a Jordan Flight Club which was the main fan club for Michael Jordan through Nike. And if you wanted to find out about shoe releases, you had to be a member of Flight Club or subscribe to East Bay. It's very different today with the internet. Anyway, from this pair of fours, let's work our way over and have a look at the Flight 89s. You'll notice something very curious about the Air Flight 89. Have a look at the midsole and compare it with the four. They're virtually identical. And the same thing with the outsole. Let's turn the shoes over so you can see them stacked on top of one another. Crazy, right? So Michael Jordan was wearing the 4s. Scottie Pippen was wearing the Air Flight 89s. And these Flight 89s have been retroed a lot lately. They're very, very cool basketball shoes. Very cool, low profile. And you got to love that signature Flight logo. Let's compare the Flight 89s to the Air Alpha Force 2. This was Charles Barkley's shoe before he had his own signature line of Barkley's in the late 80s. You'll notice that it's the colorway of the Philadelphia 76ers, which is where he played the early part of his career. You'll notice that cool logo on the tongue there, Air Alpha, Force, and the Basketball. Particularly the Force and the Basketball, that was on a lot of basketball shoes in the late 80s and the early 90s. A lot of Barkley's shoes and a lot of David Robinson shoes and a lot of shoes that were being worn by other power forwards and also centers. There was a huge dichotomy between the centers and power forwards and the small forwards and the guards. And it's so different than today. So back in the day, there was the big three. There was Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, and David Robinson. And today, there's also the big three. There's LeBron, Durant, and Kobe, except Kobe's been injured lately. But anyway, back in the day, typically, the bigger the player was, the bigger the shoes were. Think about it. David Robinson was the biggest of all of these players back in the day, and he wore pumps that practically came up to his knees. Charles Barkley's shoes were a lot bigger and bolder. A lot of them had these Velcro straps on here, which was typical also of cross-training shoes. But then Michael Jordan's shoes were typically more lean, low to the ground. Same thing with the other flight shoes. Think about today, though. The smallest player of the big three is Kobe, and think about Kobe's last shoe. Like David Robinson's, it practically came up to his knees. Now, I know, of course, that was because of his Achilles injury, and before that shoe, a lot of Kobe's shoes were very low profile, but Kevin Durant's shoes have been low profile, and the dude's 6'10", and he's wearing shoes that look like soccer shoes, and LeBron's shoes are somewhere in the middle, but it's very different now than it was back in the day. Anyway, it's been a real pleasure walking you through the early days of the flight force dichotomy and comparing what it used to be like to what it's like now. 